Good morning, you guys. So I just finished getting ready for class. I'm in very comfy clothes. I'm in uh, gym clothes and a lot of people wear gym clothes. Like in law school, you don't have to wear business clothes. Like nobody does that unless there's like an important event or like a networking event or like on campus interviews. Then like people wear um, like nice clothes, but um, I'm wearing super comfy clothes. I'm really comfy. I'm actually really sleepy. I don't know why, but um, today's Monday and I wanted to start a week in my life. So welcome if you're new here. My name's Bree. You should definitely subscribe down below. Um, I just had my breakfast and my coffee to like wake me up since I'm so sleepy today and then I'm gonna be working out later so that's why I'm in like that's why I'm in like workout clothes but as you can see my house is a mess behind me so don't look a little um but right now I'm about to read for civil procedure tomorrow our reading is literally four pages super weird our reading is like for contracts our reading today was 30 pa 29 pages um our reading for civil procedure tomorrow is about five pages and then there's no reading for my Fundamentals of lowering class, which is like my writing class. There's like never reading for that. I mean there is like It's if you want to read if that makes any sense So I'm about to read for civil procedure and then I'm gonna read for Wednesday because we're trying to get ahead here So we can finish reading by Thursday um, Actually by Wednesday So that we can be done reading for the week like I said Sunday Monday Tuesday and Wednesdays We read Thursday Friday Saturday off and so I'm trying to stick with that plan and I have no idea what I got on my midterm. I think he's gonna talk about it tomorrow because this assignment is literally only five pages, but he's dedicating the whole class on those five pages and he's never done that before. So I wonder if he's going to discuss our midterm grade. If so, I'm gonna cry. <laughs> because I had a dream that I got an A. Wouldn't that be awesome if I actually got an A? That would literally be so amazing. But I'm about to read for Supro, so you guys are gonna watch me read. And then we're just gonna wait until our contracts class. Um, and um if i don't vlog later then i'll see you guys tomorrow bright and early for my 8 a.m writing class isn't it so fun having to do a writing class at 8 a.m hope everybody's having a great day okay so i am about to read um like i said like the five pages wow why do my classes look foggy about to read the um dude i need some dainty necklaces let me know down below where I can find dainty necklaces. Okay, so I'm gonna go read for Cipro and then I also have to make appointments for the writing center. So basically at my school, there's a writing center and so they can look at your writing for your open research memo, which is just like, I don't know, like a nine to 10 pages or like seven to 11 pages, page assignment. And I really need to get a good grade. So people said to literally like, use it as much as possible and so I need to do that because I feel like a lot of people have already done it and so I need to book them so when it comes to reviewing the information I could also stay on track and also have a lot of people help me <laughs> um but it's getting time to start you know like really outlining and reviewing information so I already know half of the procedure but I recite everything to you guys right now um I need to study for contracts and torts and contracts is a little bit more complicated for me so i'm gonna start studying for that this weekend so i could just you know know what i'm talking about on the final because i need a good grade that's very important but that's the update for you guys let's get to reading because we love reading from law school <laughs> Okay, I finished reading for that and now I'm about to read the handout which is a case and it's called Kelly Wishes Nationwide and it's two pages so we're gonna finish reading for that and then we have to read FRCP literally my outline <laughs> um, for my civil procedure midterm which I didn't even use because no time anyways um, this is my tabbing and it's actually looks really bad but I was trying to tab it for my exam that didn't even really help me either. But I have to go to rule 26. I think I'm gonna buy other tabs because these tabs are too long. But um, rule 26 in terms of discovery, we're learning about discovery right now. So I'm gonna go to that rule and that's all I have to do after I read these two pages. And then after that, 
I'm going to start reading for contracts for Wednesday because I have nothing else to do. Alrighties, so we're done with civil procedure. Now we're moving on to contracts. I feel like I'm about to fall asleep. Isn't that so weird? And I slept. I don't know if that's ever happened to someone where you sleep and you wake up tired. So weird. So, so weird. So let's see for our contracts reading how much we have to read. We have to listen to two videos. He makes videos for us so that we can understand contracts better because it could get really confusing. But um, let me see. Since, okay, so we have to read 20 pages. Love that for Actually, I lied. We have to read like 17 pages. I love that for myself. So what I usually do is I quimby the videos and I'll usually watch it either before or after I read the case. And if I don't have time to read the case, which is sometimes the instance, I quimby it and I look at case briefs so that I know what we're talking about in class. But um, I'm going to go ahead and put these on quimby and see what they're talking about. And then I'll probably read it a little later on. And I'm going to watch the, the videos that he makes so that we could understand the material. Okay, so I finished reviewing on Quimby for the cases. And one of them was actually interesting because it was about Warner Bros. R Warner Bros. But now I'm going to read the restatements section 205. So after I read this, then after this, I'm going to read for my torts class. And then after that, I'm going to go back to reading for civil procedure. And then I'll be done for reading for Wednesday and it's 102 and I have class in an hour and 15 minutes So let's see if I can get all of this done in an hour and 15 minutes. I'll let you guys know Okay, so I am going to see what my torts reading is. I have no idea what it is And let's check it out um, So let's see where we left off because last time in torts I was on call. Oh, yeah, let me tell you guys this so I was on call for torts and I didn't record this because I was, it was, it felt very abrupt and I was taken aback. I was like, what is going on? So I got up in torts. It was Friday. Everybody's mind is on the civil procedure midterm. They're like, can I just get out of this class? And so even my professor's like that. He's like, I know you guys are stressed about your midterm. And yeah, we all were. So I caught up and I was like, I'm starving. So I made myself a smoothie. I turned off my camera. And then as soon as I came back and sat down for my smoothie, he said my name. And I was like, oh my gosh. And he asked me about a case that I read literally like five days before. So I was like, I don't remember this case at all. Like, cause I, I like read super ahead because like, I don't know, I had like a schedule. And so I just kept on reading, but then like we never really got through assignments. And so I just kept on reading. And I was like, what? this case is literally only like two pages though. So literally while he was calling on me, I reread the case. Cause I was like, I don't know what's going on because I read this so long ago and I just, got a smoothie so that was very embarrassing for me and i was very embarrassed and i put a meme on my instagram you guys should follow my instagram i'll link it down below um and it's called law school memes you guys should also follow that if you're interested in law school and it was like when you're when you're getting cold called and you're searching for a case and that's literally me it was spongebob that was literally me and i was like oh my gosh this is so embarrassing because people are probably like what is wrong with this girl like she is dumb but um so people swept up on my story and i really appreciate them because they were so kind and they were like oh you did well um so i am you know, still <laughs> embarrassed about my cold call from Torx. That was my second cold call. And my third cold call is coming up for um, a civil procedure. And then my cold call for contracts is coming um, in about three weeks. So I need to like relearn contracts. So I know what I'm talking about because his cold calls are pretty brutal because he asked a lot of what ifs. And you're like, I didn't even like think about that issue that you raised. And so a lot of people are like confused. So... I want to make sure that I'm not super confused, even though I already am. I don't know if that makes any sense, but let's see what we have to do for torts. I I don't even remember the case. I remember what the case was about, but I don't remember the name. Oh yeah, my teacher had asked me the but for test, and I didn't remember what it was, and I was like, how can you not forget? Like, but for this action, like this wouldn't occur. Anyways, I had said it vice versa, and he was like, other way around, and I was like, oh my gosh, I'm embarrassed. <laughs> like, it's so awkward when you're getting cold called because like people. Some people really do judge you. I'm not gonna lie. Some people do judge you and they're like, oh my god, this person's not that smart. Or some people will remember that like, there, uh, there's just like one kid or something in our school and like people still talk about it. And I honestly don't care. I'm not gonna, I don't remember people's cold calls. Not everybody remembers people's cold calls. I don't, rem nobody remembers a specific question, but people will remember if you knew nothing. I don't know if that makes sense. So it's good to have a general awareness when you're being cold called. 
how many cases are here? There's one, two. Oh, there's only two. So I definitely should read ahead. So I'm definitely going to read ahead pages 249 to 265. And then we have to read the restatements from 142 to 156. And then we have a supplemental case called Family Curse. Yes, that sounds super weird. And so I'm probably going to read that um, right now. So let me go to page 249 and I'm going to stop babbling and I'm going to read these cases. So let's do it. Okay, so I have one more case for torch to read. So I think I'm going to read that for um, Thursday's class because I don't think we're going to get through like four cases. I don't think we've ever got through four cases in one day. So I'm about to make dumplings really quickly because I have class in about a few minutes. So that's going to be my lunch. I'm going to eat some dumplings and have a glass of water because I'm drinking zero. I'm drinking zero ounces of water today and I'm only drinking coffee. All right, signed in for contracts. This is contracts class and then I'm done for the day, which is amazing. And then I'm going to cook dinner. Exercise. Okay, so I am making some dinner because I have some extra time and I'm not behind in my readings. So I'm making some dinner. My camera broke, so it's like shaky and that really sucks. But I've had this camera for two years. It will be, it will be two years in March if anybody is thinking about YouTube and is thinking about the Canon G7X Mark II. I bought it almost two years ago and the back of the screws broke and it's a super tiny screw and I don't have anything to fix it. But let's see what pasta I'm feeling today. Just kidding, I only have two. So yeah, we're doing linguine pasta and with some ground meat and some sauce and some, uh, let's see what sauce we're gonna do today. We're gonna do this one. This is what my boyfriend bought, um, Rago Chunky Sauce. And that's gonna be my dinner. Um, I had a little bit of lunch, which was dumplings, which I ate real quick um, at the beginning of class. And I'm not on call, so I could eat. And then now I'm just making dinner and we're enjoying ourselves. I usually listen to music and face on my family while I'm making dinner. And it is 3.59 and I just finished my contracts class. Then I'm gonna go ahead and read for civil procedure for Wednesday, today's Monday. So we love reading two days ahead. It's a good tip for people who feel stressed, feel like they have a lot of reading, get ahead. That's my biggest tip. Let me show you guys the finished product. I just finished cooking and cleaning. Sort of the dishwasher, yes I use a dishwasher. Um, I am Haitian and at home I don't have a dishwasher like that so I would definitely have to hand wash but I do like the dishwasher here um, so I just have some sauce some spaghetti and that's what I'm gonna be that's what I'm gonna be eating for dinner and it's 501 so it took me basically an hour and uh, 30 minutes to like prepare food and clean up and now I am going to watch YouTube for like half an hour and then I'm gonna go back to reading and then by the time I finish reading, it's probably going to be time to, to exercise. And that's from 7 to 8. And then that's pretty much my day. <laughs> so I'll talk to you guys tomorrow morning when I wake up and I'm super exhausted from my writing class. We got a new professor because my professor is pregnant. And so she's on maternity leave. And so we have a new professor for the rest of the year. And um, she's gonna discuss different things for the ORM, which is kind of nice. So I'm excited to meet this new professor. Okay, you guys, so my hair looks a mess, but I finished, I reread my notes and stuff and watched a little video because I was a little confused. I was like, what am I supposed to retain from this? You know, when you read and you're like, what? I don't know what I just read. So I just reread and it's 11.41 and I have to be awake in about seven hours. So love that for myself. I'm gonna go take a shower and go to bed, but see you guys tomorrow morning in the next vlog. Good morning, I'm awake for my FL class and it's about four minutes before the class. I am so sleepy. <laughs> we love 8 a.m. like I always say, but I look rough, but we're about to log in for our class and then we have slow procedure and I finished class at 11.30 on Tuesdays in the morning, which is actually really good. So we have a new professor and the Zoom won't let her in, so we had to do a Google Meets, but about two do my FL class and learn about our open research memo and then some procedure. <laughs> okay, so we spoke to our new professor and she's literally so amazing. She's like, I don't want you guys to be lost and if you have any questions or you need help with anything, please contact me. But our old professor was like, I'm gonna intentionally um, like confuse you guys or like make you guys lost. But this professor is like, no, I'm gonna tell you exactly what you need to do. Yada, yada. And I don't know, the whole class I was just like, 
<laughs> thank you i need i need i need a lot of help and so i'm super excited now i'm about to sign in for my um so procedure class and then i'll be done for the rest of the day i usually go to office hours but today i'm probably not because today we're learning about discovery and so it's very introductory um like we're just going through an introduction so it's uh rule 26a 26b and so they're very, they're pretty much straightforward but let's let's see i feel like we're going to discuss the midterm but i'm not sure because i don't know like he definitely could talk a lot about just a two-page case like on our first day of class we spent literally the whole class going over a page and a half case and he asked so many questions from it and i was like oh my gosh i didn't know you could find so many questions about that case so maybe he'll do that with this case today about interrogatories but after that i'm probably gonna take a nap and today later on i have a meeting with um with the 1l leadership board director because she wants to discuss our ideas but that's pretty much all i have going for me for today tuesday is more lax even though i wake up earlier but it's less of a busy day tomorrow wednesday i have a full day of stuff to do and so you guys will definitely see that tomorrow. But hope everybody's having a great day. All right, finished Super Pro and um, have to finish doing the readings. It's 11.30 and my teacher said there's no office hours today because somebody's coming to work at work on his house. So that means that I'm pretty much done for the day until I have ends of court. I forgot that that's coming back this week, which is like, like training type of thing. I don't know, helping us adjust to law school. And that's later on at 3.40. So basically from 11.30 a.m. to 3.40, I have a huge gap. I might take a nap and I'm gonna go eat breakfast, but I'll talk to you guys later when I um, sign in for my ends of courts meeting. And my professor said, he said sometime soon, um, he'll let us know our midterm grade. <laughs> soon is so like broad, that could literally mean anything. But we're waiting and we're patient and we did what we could. Okay, good morning guys. Today is Wednesday and I'm logging in for my civil procedure class. It starts in about two minutes. Let's do this. Okay, I'm eating a quick bite, but I just finished the pro. Now it's towards time. And then after towards, we have a networking event. So I have to change my shirt. But um, it's so dark in my house. I should open some windows, but uh, so far it was pretty fun today because you only cold called one person and you were able to participate and I participated. And I kind of felt weird because I don't participate. So it's like, <laughs> but that was fun. All right, I just finished my towards class and our teacher usually goes over, which is kind of funny. So in about 20 minutes, I have a, a networking session with Covington LLP. And so basically, like I told you guys, I go to networking events pretty much every week. And these attorneys just talk about their practices and sometimes they do breakout rooms and then you, you can ask questions to get to know more about the firm and just to know about their culture and such. And so I'm going to basically just change my shirt <laughs> And I, now I'm gonna keep these earrings. I have these super tiny studied earrings that my boyfriend caught me when we first started dating when I was like 16. Anyways, so I'm gonna go change my shirt and then after that, I have contracts at 225. And then I have a mentor, which is for this program called LCLD. And I'm meeting with her at four o'clock. And that's gonna be kind of cool. She's a partner at this firm. And so I guess she'll tell me about her firm and maybe if there's a diversity program, she'll tell me about that too. But hope everybody's having a great day. I love saying it's that. about two minutes before the networking session starts, so I'm gonna join. It's via Zoom, all these networking stuff are via Zoom. And I basically stay on Zoom like all day. Like yesterday, my day ended really late because I was playing Among Us. I don't know if anybody plays Among Us, but I, I do play that game when um, I wanna break. And so I'm gonna join this and then after this, I'm gonna eat something. I don't know if I want a salad again today, or if I'm gonna make something. Or avocado toast, maybe. Hmm, we'll see. Okay, so just finished with that networking, networking event. It's always so nice to see different firms and like how they are, the people that they hire, you know what I mean, and the different type of work they do. Now I have less than an hour before my contract costs, and so I'm going to eat something, and I think I'm gonna eat salad. So I'll talk to you guys when I have my contracts class, but you know, the usual, just sitting at my desk for six hours. <laughs> basically and not going outside until like the weekend but this weekend i have some plans so i'm excited to like excited to have a salad and some pasta for lunch and if people know me from colleges and stuff the library was my best friend i it's very folly outside it's very fall vibes outside and sometimes i literally turn on my camera and i have really nothing to say to you guys but at the same time you know sometimes you just have to talk to yourself or make yourself feel like you're talking to other people because I literally sit on my computer all day and so 
in order to make myself feel better i just grab my camera and i start talking so that's why i also love to vlog because it can get lonely a lot of people have been saying that with my school how you know they said that they're gonna make everything online for the spring semester as well so that's literally my whole 1l year online and people first thought that we would do hybrid you know a lot of schools are doing hybrid and our writing sections are very small they're less than 20 people i know a writing section that has i think like nine students in it and so with social distance social distancing matters um hygiene and face mask i thought that would be good but our school does apparently doesn't make this decision it's the undergrad so if the undergrad says no then we say no so um a lot of kids are like lonely and they're like i just stay cooped up in my apartment i go to school online i do my homework online you know they're just tired of staring at a screen and having the same type of scenery and they you know when you go to school on campus you go from class to class you see professor to professor and also when you go to office hours now um you have to ask questions in front of everybody when usually like people will go to office hours generally in normal settings they just are like one-on-one -on -one. i mean you could ask the professor but at the same time professors are busy and so it's, it's an adjustment but at the same time we're very grateful that we have our health right not sure if I, yeah i already told you guys that i'm eating salad and pasta and i also need to, to drink more water but oh my gosh i literally get excited when talking about firms i don't know why it's just so weird but um there's a plan of attack and i'm not gonna be doing it alone and i'm excited for that i'll tell you guys soon probably in december but um I'm meeting my mentor today, and then tomorrow I have a mock um, interview like debrief because I like did one for this firm, and so they're gonna tell me tips on how to improve for interviewing, which is very nice. Okay, so my salad is in this bowl, and my pasta is in this bowl. Two bowls of food. <laughs> oh my gosh, I'm laughing. And today's my brother's birthday, so happy birthday to my brother. Love you. He doesn't watch my vlogs though, so it's, he's not gonna see this but maybe my other family members as well because my little cousin watches my vlogs because she's amazing and we're a very tight-knit family and i love my family so much anywho let's eat this food and then we're gonna go to contracts which is in about i can't do math um 35 minutes <laughs> This is my cousin and we usually play Among Us. We have a streak. She didn't play last night because she's fake, but she's in class and I'm in class. But this, <laughs> this is the day one. This is the day one. Oh, <laughs> Alright, just finished contracts and for once, <laughs> I'm not completely lost on his questions. And I have my um, mentor in interview. Mentor. Um, meeting in about 20 minutes and so i'm just gonna chill or go on tiktok <laughs> um until it's time because i need a little bit of a, a break for my brain because i've literally been in class all day and uh after that i'm going to read for so procedure uh read a little bit for torts and finish off the night with reading for contracts okay you guys i look rough but i'm going to bed now and it's about 1 a.m. I just finished re-reading and rereading for my Cipro class tomorrow, so we love that for me. And I have an 8 a.m. tomorrow, so good night. See you guys tomorrow morning. Good morning, you guys. So I just woke up and I'm about to log in for my Fundamentals of Loring class. It is very foggy outside, but again i'm tired <laughs> adms are so early and i always go to bed at like one and so i'm so tired even though i kind of got a kind of good amount but i think that i need like eight hours to function well i only got like six hours last night i went to bed at like two i don't even know <laughs> I literally just took a nap and I have to get ready now because I have the uh, event in 40 minutes so I need to transform how I look. Okay you guys so I finished the diversity thing it was pretty nice got some really good helpful tips um, 
it was a nice session and it just ended it lasted almost two hours and now i'm about to watch presidential presidential debate and finish reading for my arbitration competition because we have a script and it's like 40 pages i have about like nine pages that i want to reread so i'm gonna read them while i watch the debate but wow my days have become so long and i think i'm going to slow down in terms of networking events because i need to focus on study um yeah i look rough but now i'm going to bed just finished watching the president presidential debate and now i'm going to bed it's like 11 something and i have class tomorrow at 11 but i'm gonna wake up early so i can do my reading because i usually do my readings the morning of and just to be more productive it gets to me like in the grind of things but good night guys even though like it's probably not night for you guys see you guys tomorrow on my last day of vlogging a week in my life i think this vlog is gonna be super long but we love seeing raw content Good morning you guys, today is Friday, the last day of me vlogging for you guys. So I just have one class today which is towards, which starts in about 10 minutes. I'll go pretty, well, early for me. I woke up at 9.30 today and I've just been like relaxing, getting ready. And today I just have towards, then I have a an event, not an event, a network, another networking event with a firm. And then I am going to meet up with a friend later so we can like discuss our attack plan and then, um, yeah just kind of relaxing today it's been a very long week for me <sighs> yeah and now we're about to move to the eerie doctrine in still procedure and apparently that's really really hard and like a lot of law school students run away from it because they're like it's so hard but it is what it is and yeah we're just gonna work with it i hope everybody's having a good day and i'm excited to edit this vlog but it seems like it's gonna be really really long <laughs> Okay, so I just finished meeting with my partner for arbitration. She's so sweet and I think I think we're doing a good job. And we just finished, you know, writing our opening statements and we already had our questions done. We each contributed, which was really nice. It was a really good partnership. And so now I am going to eat something and play Among Us. <laughs> and then I have an event at four o'clock. It is with Morgan Lewis. And yeah. Yeah. That's all I have for today. And then I'm pretty much gonna end the vlog after that. Hey guys, so I'm ready and uh, I look at literally have one earring on. Thanks for watching this vlog. Hope you guys had a great week and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.